Hello everyone, this is Joe, KF7MIX, and this is the second uh, video in a series of JS8 Spotter training videos. And in this video we're going to cover kind of the scope and the gap that we're trying to fill uh, for JS8 Spotter here and JS8 Call. Scope of the video, and, and we're going to also have a deep dive into profile-based activity search, which is kind of the main function of JS8 Spotter. So let's go ahead and get started. I got JS8 Call running and JS8 Spotter running. The first thing we want to look at is uh, profiles. Let's just take a look at the profiles. Uh, profiles are fairly straightforward, but um, let's go ahead and start a new one just to show you all the different features here. I'll give it uh, a name. We're going to call this one Test2. Hit Create. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and switch using um, this dropdown to Test2. Here's a blank profile. All right, you can also switch up the file menu. You can go to Switch Profile and choose uh, your profile that way. All right, so let's take a look at what a profile is. A profile is just a container for search terms. Uh, it starts out empty. You fill it up with whatever you want. Uh, and based on your search terms, your matched activity will also fill in that profile. Um, in a profile, you have, let's make sure I'm covering everything, background scanning. Okay, background scan means this profile will be scanned whether or not it's selected. For example, if I go to my contacts profile, you see background scan is turned on there. If I go to my weather profile, WX event profile, background scanning is turned off. That means that if traffic is passing through JS8 call that matches any of these search terms for this profile, that will not be recorded right now. Uh, that's because there's nothing going on for weather that I'm trying to track right now. I like to always keep track of uh, the people that I know and what's going on with them. So let's say this test two profile, I only want this to run when it's selected. So we're selected on it, it will run. Let's go ahead and put in some basic stuff like uh, you can put anything you want for search terms. So I can put um, a red cat, okay? And then anytime these words red cat show up in the uh, on the air, on the band that I'm selected in JS8 call, it will get saved as matched activity. I'm gonna remove that one because it's useless. And let's put in a few other things. I'm going to put in heart, heartbeat. Although heart will catch heartbeat, it would also catch heart attack, uh, whereas this would not. It's, it's a pretty straightforward process there. It's just a text search. Uh, looks like uh, N6CYB is on the air right now. Usually when I make these videos, it's not very active, but um, let's put him on there, N6CYB. Now, all right, right away, let's see what we've got something matched. We've got a few things in, in our search terms. Let's put in a few that will never get matched, like, um, I don't know. Probably no one's going to talk about cars in the next couple minutes or planes. All right, notice how last seen, once this was spotted in the um, through the API, this is connected through the API to JSA call, uh, it's recording that. It's set in the matched activity pane. Okay, so you got heart and heartbeat. Obviously, super easy to find. Anytime the heartbeat network goes off, you're going to capture activities if you had words like this in there. It's great for testing. Uh, HB means this didn't activate. That means I didn't see the heartbeat request. And if you look over here in the activity pane, you can see I saw the responses, but I didn't see the request from KG7SDB. Um, probably out of range for me. Notice also that it captured everything twice. Well, that's because I put in heart and heartbeat. Let's go ahead and remove heart. We don't need that. Okay, now let me also show you this. So this, this is what I've captured. It's captured, it's in there. If I remove a search term, it's not gonna remove this unless I clear the log. Um, but let's just double click on one of these. So I see that W6TAB has responded to KG7SDB giving a signal report of negative 13. I got the time, the dial. Uh, this, this signal report is for W6TAB, so he came in at a plus two for me. All right, and this is the type of um, traffic that came through the API. Okay, so you can start to get details. Now I can also double click on heartbeat, and it will show me everything related to just that search term. That's all we got right now in this profile, and that's just fine. Um, notice this isn't, it, nothing's happening here. Things only happen here when it's triggered by an event from JS8 call. JS8 call is only going to send something through if something's received. 
Usually I make these videos in the middle of the day when the band is fairly quiet. Um, let's go ahead and make something happen. Let's say we also want in here, let's track everything related to my call sign. So let's just go ahead and send something to all call. Oh, looks like my station's responding. We'll just let that happen. Take a look at this while we're waiting. Let's see. All right, no big deal. There we go. Let's just go ahead and send something to. Uh, by the way, if uh, I'm just noticing, I responded to W6OEM. I'm trying to see that over here. I don't see that in the activity pane. I don't know if I triggered that on accident or what happened. Um, W6OEM, where are you? I don't see the heartbeat request. And you'll also see it didn't come through here. The, this can only track what. JS8 call reports to it. Uh, it's it's not magical. I don't know where that request came in. I I don't see it on the waterfall even. Anyway, it, it's not perfect. This is only as perfect as JS8 call is going to be. So take that into consideration. Let's just go ahead and ask uh, send out a heartbeat request here. That should hopefully get some responses. Again, the, the band is not really busy this time of day for me at least for what I can receive. Let's send that in and see what populates here. Again, if you watch this activity pane, this over here will populate the same items as long as JS8 calls API sends them through. Um, the thing to know about that is that, you know, the very first question I was at, I would ask is, well, then what's the point of this if it's already captured over here? Well, over here in JS8 call, you're capturing everything and anything. Um, versus over here in JS8 Spotter, you're able to track just what you want to track. If you're not wanting to track heartbeats, don't put in the word heartbeat. If you only want to track specific things, whether it be keywords or call signs, you can track them over here. The other big difference is in this activity pane in JS8 Call will eventually be deleted and you'll be forced to dig around through your logs to get that information. This in, um, in JS8 Spotter, this is not deleted ever. If I click on this, see now I've I've got my responses to me and they're saved under my name and in the call sign. So I can, these are never deleted from the database until you clear the log or delete them yourself. So you have a lot more longevity in this data and a lot more organization opportunity, um, not only with the search terms, but also with the profiles. For example, if I go to contacts, well, I can see some some people that I know and and when I've spoken with them not only that it's capturing everything based on these keywords so it's it's even going to capture messages that they send to each other or other people or it's just banned activity um, really really useful if you want to keep track of what's going on and you're not always at your station uh, I tend to leave mine running and I like to go back and see what's happened all right let's go ahead and just show you how you delete these now you can hold shift and highlight those and delete them or you can delete them one by one let's say planes is useless you can delete it um, now I'm gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll show you the import and export first actually uh, let's go ahead and say uh, export this is nothing but a list of of items that you can copy you can say co copy all you can also hit save as and save it as like a text file um, the purpose of that is well let's go ahead and remove all these okay um, if you're if you're part of a group, an uh, emergency communication group, or even just a group of friends, you, there's JS8 call chess clubs and everything else. Uh, you can get your really good list of search terms for your profile and, and email it to a group, and uh, then they wouldn't have to type each one in. They could just put them in like that and hit add batch and put them all in at once. So that's that's really useful. Now let's um, I'll just show you how to go ahead and clear this log as well. You can export the log, and this gives you a delimited you know, useful for pasting into a spreadsheet, um, or you can save it. Sorry, mine's a little bit weird on this computer, but you can save that to a tab delimited text file that you can open in your spreadsheet program in Excel or LibreOffice or whatever you use. So that's that's useful, and you you would notice if this was a longer log for this profile that when you hit export, right right on your screen, you're only going to see the last 100 entries. When you hit export, it'll export everything that's in the database. So real useful. Let's go ahead and clear this though. Uh, it's just warning us that you can't undo this action. So we've just cleared the log. And then we're just gonna go ahead and remove this profile. 
So it's also warning us this can't be undone. We're moving the test to profile and now it's gone. It's returned me to my contacts profile. Um, you, there's no limit to how many profiles you can have or how many keywords you can have. If you have the same keyword that's in one pro, I should have shown you that before because I think I have KF7 in my X in here. If you have one keyword and it's in multiple profiles, it, if background scans turned on, it will be recorded in every profile. So you can see it in each place. Uh, and that's completely up to you. Let's see what else we got. We covered ca background scanning, search terms. Um, just to make that super clear, search terms can be anything you want. They do not have to be call signs. They can be keywords. They could be the word message. Uh, let's, let's just make a new test profile here one more time. I think it's clear, but I want it to be real clear. So if you wanted to capture every message that anyone sent to anyone else on the band while your station could hear, you'd type in the word MSG. Um, hard to catch QSOs because that's just people chatting. But if uh, you could look for words that you often see. Uh, like every time someone says 73 or um, people use the word here for their operator, you know, Joe here type thing. Um, you know, whatever abbreviations that people use. Sometimes people are talking about the weather. You can literally put anything you want in here. It doesn't have to be one word. It can be a sentence. If someone sends out the, the words, this is a test, you, you can record that activity. Whatever you're looking for, whatever you want to keep track of on the band, whatever you don't want to lose or miss out on, you put it in here. And that's how the um, search terms work. Latest matched activity, I believe we covered that as well the last 100 entries show on the right. That's the latest matched activity. However, in the database, you have everything that you've captured. You can export that anytime you want, okay? Import, export, save. We covered that a little bit. It's, you can, on the left, you can import or export these search terms. Very useful if you're working in a group to make sure that everyone has the same search terms. Um, your, your search terms could be your list of contacts. I could export or import my full list of contacts um, and you know that's pretty useful over there and the export on this side is again just to export the entire database of your matched activity I, I suppose that might be useful if you wanted to search through it or work with it some other way than in this software if you would pre feel more comfortable working with it in um, a spreadsheet maybe you can find the data faster that way or identify trends or whatever it is you want to do okay and then that let's take a quick look also at the database for the activity paint or for the uh, profile based search term activity tracking okay here's the uh, this is a, a copy of the JS8 spotter database opened up in DB browser for SQL Lite. there's a similar software available for Windows uh, again JS8 spotter works in Windows or Linux um, but this gives you a visual way to look at your your database this is the activity table right here and these are the fields ID that's just for the database purposes profile that that links up each record with the profile that it belongs to. So if you're in the test profile or context, whatever profiles you make, it's up to you. Um, these are the different database fields. A lot of these are self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through each one, but let's browse them a little bit. This looks a lot like you'd expect to see in a spreadsheet, and the uh, databases often do. So this gives you all your different fields. Uh, some of these are linked fields, like one represents a profile, so you would have to go into your profile and see which one that belonged to. It's not going to have our test one because this is a different database file. But uh, you can see the type of API um, message that was delivered and then the, the value. So again, this is I'm just showing you the database format so you can see that there's no special magic going on. This is what JSIC calls delivering it to us. We're breaking it up into different fields and saving it for future use. Um, it's also important to know that this is here because you can manage this. If you're really into managing your data, you can manage it right here in this spreadsheet format or this uh, database format. You have full access to that. There's no hidden magic going on in the software. All right, so that covers everything basically for this, uh, the first feature, kind of the main feature of JS8, JS8 Spotter. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments or to contact me directly, Joe, KF7MIX. My details are on qrz.com, and uh, I'd be happy to help you out however I can.